the second coming of Christ in the Bible? Yes, well, the idea of the second coming is actually the awakening of the Christ consciousness in every single individual. I honestly can't believe how many people are buying into this idea of Christ consciousness, that his second coming is not his second coming, that somehow it is a coming of the consciousness of Christ. But if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the Corinthians, who were Christians, members of the body of Christ, they were told by Paul, we have the mind of Christ. They weren't waiting for the mind of Christ. They were continuing to grow in knowledge concerning what that mind knew, but he said, we have the mind of Christ. And in 1 Corinthians, Paul said that they were waiting for the coming, the parousia of Jesus Christ, which is a reference to a second coming. So if the consciousness of Christ was already present, then what were they waiting for? It had to be something different than what they are saying, this Christ consciousness, because they already possessed that. Okay. It's not about the coming of a single person. The entire reason that it is called the second coming is because it is a reference to a coming that is similar to his first. And his first coming was a reference to his bodily coming, the coming of a person, which this man denies. It's like these people aren't even reading the Bible, not even studying the Bible and are using biblical terms. It's just like Mormons or Jehovah Witnesses using similar terminology, but referencing completely different things. For example, the Jehovah Witnesses reference the Holy Spirit, but they don't Think about the Holy Spirit the way that the Bible describes the Holy Spirit. They think of the Holy Spirit as being a force of God, almost like electricity. But the Bible teaches that the Holy Spirit is a he, just like the Father and just like the Son. And the Spirit is a living spirit, just like the Father and just like the Son. So this man in the video is using similar terminology, but referencing something completely unbiblical when describing this biblical terminology. Now, when you read Hebrews 9.28 and it says Jesus will appear a second time, what, what is it that they were waiting for? First Thessalonians chapter 1, they're waiting for Jesus to come from heaven. That's not a reference to his consciousness. If you read First Thessalonians chapter 4, it says the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. There is no way that that is not the coming of an individual. Okay. It's about the same thing as opening up to the Buddha nature, the Krishna spirit. Same idea. It's allowing you to be who you truly are as a full soul. And there you go. The problem is revealed. Combining different religious ideas from different religions as if they have something to do one with another. If it's the same idea, then why was a new religion created that teaches completely opposite than the Buddha religion about the Krishna spirit? You see, the coming of Christ is not a coming of Christ consciousness. This man just made that up by combining different religions. But when you look at the religion that's promoted in the Bible, the teachings that are found within the scriptures, it is not promoting the idea of the coming of a consciousness, but the coming of an individual who possesses a consciousness. And it says that he will come to eternally save all that obey him and eternally punish all who do not know God and those who have not obeyed the gospel of Jesus. And so it's individuals like this who are blind, leaders of the blind. And Jesus said, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So the same end result, the same conclusion for the teacher will also occur to his students. So make sure you're being careful who you listen to.